Yeah, well, the recruit, recruitment thing was was a kind of surprise. Uh, it really was. Uh, I was just playing football, just have fun, something to do, uh, and enjoy playing the game. And to be exact, to play 14 high school games, 14, and that was it. So, Whitey Jordan, who was recruiting coordinator on the coast for Southern Miss, was coming down, you know, and, and I'd see him, wouldn't think nothing of it, talk to him, wouldn't think nothing of it, just saying, yeah, right, whatever, you know, just gonna do my thing, you know, while I'm here at the Alvin. really didn't pay any attention to it. Uh, during that recruitment process, you had Southern Miss, you had Jackson State, Alcorn, uh, Delta State. Delta State was going to allow me to play football and basketball, which was intriguing. You know, it was, it was giving me the opportunity to do both things that I, that I really loved, especially with, especially with basketball. And um, I made my first visit was in, went to New Orleans to Tulane, which was impressive, you know, at the time because Tulane had a great program for football. They had Rock Hunters and some of those guys over there, and, uh, and they were doing some pretty big things. Uh, and my second trip was to Jackson State. And, you know, you go from Tulane to Jackson State, and it's, it's like two, world, two different worlds. And I'm like, I, I don't think I want to do the Jackson State, the state thing. And, and in reference to Alcorn, and no disrespect to Jackson State, Alcorn is just, just different. But when it comes to Southern, Southern Miss, you know, with Coach, uh, Coach, Coach Jordan, as you well know, you know, White is a different kind of guy, you know. Uh, here I am uh, talking to this guy. He's got shirt tail out, half in, half out. He's got his red man in his back pocket. He's got his, his big chew on the back side of his mouth. and he, he always wore a white shirt, all right? And he always had tobacco stains on the shirt, always. It seemed like every time we saw him, he had a, a dip and a cup and tobacco stains. And I'm like, Lord, what, what am I getting myself into with this this guy and everything else? Came to Hattiesburg and enjoyed the visit. Met Coach Collins and felt comfortable with him. And you know, Whitey was telling me, you see, the best thing I've seen in 20 years. And I'm like, really? I said, okay. I said, well, if that's the case, why are you, everybody's running Ocean Springs and not here to the Iberville? He said, Rich, I can't answer that question. And you know, and I felt comfortable. I felt uh, at ease with the decision to come here in Hattiesburg and you know, I saw I might have an opportunity to play, maybe not the first year, but maybe the second year, uh, to be able to do something and get on the field and be able to play. And I still was conflicting about football or basketball, to be honest with you, whether I was gonna go to Delta State because they, they, they offered me to play basketball. And so that was still, you know, a lot of people don't know this, but I still was kind of thinking about going to Delta State, even though it was the other part of the world. For me at that time, Coach Singleton again helped me make that decision. He said, Reggie, how many, I played center, center in basketball in high school. He said, how many centers do you know playing college basketball at 6'4"? I said, not very many. He said, 6'4 quarterback, it's perfect. He said, yeah, you're a little thin right now, but you'll grow into to your, your frame. And I'm like, okay, that makes sense. You know, so with that being said, me feeling comfortable with Coach Jordan uh, and Coach Collins and everything that was going on here in Hattiesburg, you know, so it was, you know, spent a little time thinking about it, but not much, not much.